What we've got now is some of the tubes that have already dried. We're going to take the end to where they're packing the clay into the bottom of the tube. That's what will allow everything to be packed inside the powder and all to shoot it up. Come on inside. Uh, we've got a lady here that's just tying the tubes together. They keep them in bundles. It's a lot easier to work with that you'll see in a moment here. Come right up here. Here's where they're packing the clay down inside. Put the fuse and back in the clay. As you can see, they're using fairly new hammers here. These are their mallets that they use. Some of the older ones, they get worn down. This one actually isn't as bad as some of them are. Some of them will wear down even further than that. But that's just from them pounding all day long, every day, packing the clay into the tubes. They put the fuse in. They put some powder on top. Hammer it down in. That tube is ready. That is an insert that's going to go in something else. They will put uh, some powder inside, the pellets, the stars, whatever it takes to get the different effects. Right over here is where they're doing the, uh, the taller tubes that the inserts actually go into. She's, she'll be pounding the clay down into the bottom of these. much clay to put inside. Scoops the clay, puts the clay down in. That way they get the even amount, get everything measured out properly. Slide the bottom. It allows that amount of clay to go into each one. Then you can see the ramrod. Tightens up the clay down at the bottom. She has a problem, she knows it. She takes care of it at that time. Honestly, I wouldn't want to arm wrestle any of these ladies in here. That's what they do all day, every day.